Hello people, this is Bud and I just want to share uh, a short story here about what happened to me yesterday. Um, or it actually started two days ago. <laughs> I was updating my system, you know, I uh, did a classic uh, Pac-Man, SYU, or maybe even YYU, to update everything. We will not do that now. No, no kernel update. Well, a new Vivaldi update. That's interesting as well. Um, so I did this two days ago, updated everything. Um, and then uh, when before I went to bed, I turned off the computer. I went to bed. I slept. I slept really well. I dreamt about beautiful things. Woke up, had some coffee, sat down in front of the computer, started it, wanted to get uh, online, see what's happening in the world, read the news, but the browser was completely messed up. Uh, I couldn't use the browser. When I open it like this, tiled in i3 like this, Vivaldi, uh, it was completely frozen, the window, and it was glitched out also, so it it re it looked completely off. Uh, and you couldn't click on any links or do anything in the browser. You couldn't click on any tabs, you couldn't click on the extension buttons, but you could see them, kind of, and stuff, but it, you could see that something is really, really wrong here. And I was like, oh no, Vivaldi has broke. That's that's not fun. It just felt like I just got Vivaldi working well, you know. What a bummer. Uh, but then I, uh, I realized that I had uh, Firefox installed. Uh, so I started Firefox instead, hoping just to, so I could read the news, you know. Uh, but Firefox, same same thing, exactly the same thing. Frozen, couldn't click on links, couldn't click on buttons in the UI, nothing. It was really weird. And then I was like, well, what is this? And I, st and I tested some other applications, uh, like a lot of different applications, games, uh, file managers, uh, Calibre, Qt applications, terminals, uh, video, all kinds of stuff. Everything was working just as it usually does. Uh, no problems. But the browsers were completely messed up. And then I started testing all the browsers I had installed, which was uh, Chromium, Microsoft Edge, yeah, Firefox and Vivaldi. All of them, same issue. Uh, after fiddling a while, I realized that I could uh, make the browser floating and then full screen. And then it actually, I was able to, to use it some, somewhat. But it was still not perfect, like especially the UI was was uh, didn't really work. But I could uh, uh, browse the web and click on links and, and read stuff and scroll web pages and stuff like that. Uh, which I couldn't do <laughs> before I, I realized I could do that. But still, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. And since it was also uh, still broken, uh, and I, th I think it even... Uh, got stuck if, it, if something happened, like if a pop-up from the browser was popped up or something like that, you know. Uh, and then I thought, maybe this is, uh, because I, I remember uh, that a couple of weeks ago, uh, Google uh, went out and, and said that they will not allow uh, third-party Chromium-based browsers to use uh, some of the uh, Google Chrome features, uh, most specifically uh, the sync feature and uh, I think uh, the spell checker, uh, whatever. I, I don't think this is a bad thing because that, that actually means uh, higher security because both of those services, uh, I believe, needed to uh, um, yeah, send and, and uh, receive data from Google for, for the spell checker to work and stuff. And now, now that isn't allowed. And I'm not sure. I don't think Vivaldi uses the sync feature, but they might have been using the uh, uh, um, spell checker or whatever. I thought maybe it's something about that. So I, so I actually installed uh, Google Chrome, like the real evil Google Chrome, you know. Uh, but same issues there as well. Uh, then I installed Pale Moon. Worked perfectly. No, no problems whatsoever. Just uh, it, re it worked really well. And 
I was almost, I was so close to maybe it's time to just start using Pale Moon again. But then I had that feeling, you know, no, 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 that will, I, I will get, be stuck here now for a couple of days trying to tweak this uh, Pale Moon browser and stuff. I know, I know myself uh, well enough uh, and I really don't want to do that. So I, I went to, uh, uh, the Arch uh, IRC channel on Freenode, Arch uh, Linux, uh, and told them what had happened, and um, we investigated uh, uh, a bit, and probably it has something to do with the last kernel update. Something happened there. I we I don't know. They don't know, and no one else seems to have had these issues. Um, but we, or we, but uh, one one user on Arch Wiki uh, or Arch uh, IRC asked me about my GPU and my graphics card because this might have had something with a hardware accelerated the graphics rendering thing something <laughs> which is something the pale moon just doesn't do well i think or something like that uh, and they asked me about my graphics card i told them this is a laptop uh, via docking station and it's just uh, i don't know some kind of an intel gpu and they asked if i was using um XF86 Video Intel, like uh, this uh, free desktop uh, Intel video driver. Uh, and if I had it installed, and I, I had it installed, so I told them yes. And they told me, remove that and restart. And I did that, and I restarted. And the browsers were working. But I also realized that everything was better, like font rendering, I don't know, maybe you think my font rendering is crap, it probably isn't perfect, uh, but it's a lot better than it was before uh, I removed the, the drivers and the screen is sharper. It, it just, it feels so, so good actually. I, I have been thinking all, all along here that it has something to do with my docking station because sometimes my screen goes black. So it, it still does that by the way. Uh, and that is a known uh, uh, issue with the, these uh, docking stations for this uh, Dell laptop that I have. Uh, and I thought, because I have noticed that the screen hasn't been good, uh, like weird graphical artifacts that, that really looks hardware related like that, like glitches and, and it flickers in a weird way sometimes, it's, it, it, it's really strange. And I have also realized that this is not good for me. I, I kind of get a headache and, and stuff like that by, by sitting in front of the screen. I'm sure it is related to that. Um, but all, all those flickerings and weird glitches and stuff like that, all of it disappeared here when I removed this uh, driver. I'm not saying that everyone should go out and remove this driver, but maybe you should try it because you can just install it again if, if uh, things get worse, because it can also get worse. Uh, one user in the chat said that uh, uh, he, he had tried removing uh, the driver, uh, this exact driver once, and every, it was he could barely uh, uh, start X when, when he had done so, because everything got so slow and screen tearing all over and stuff like that. But maybe if you experience uh, weird graphical issues try to just remove uh, the, the graphics driver might sol solve your issues i just wanted to make the video tell you about it and, and it also it made me really happy to it, it's like i got a new computer in, in many ways um i would also like to to shortly here uh, show this that when you change video drivers or remove the video drivers i have no idea what kind of video drivers i have now when i remove this i guess i have like the the kernel video driver i i have no idea how that stuff works uh, i i barely know what it is to be honest but when you change the video drivers then in x render here uh, the name for the monitors will change because different drivers have different names for the monitors somehow, I don't know. 
Uh, this, for instance, was called DBI because I have my external monitor connected with a, a, a digital video like DBI connector. But here it's called DP-1-1. It was called DBI-1 without any dashes. Same with the internal screen. It's called EDP-1. It was called EDP-1 without a dash prior. And that actually... Uh, uh, um, affected me because I have a bash script that chooses uh, uh, the resolution and the orientation of the screens and stuff like that so I had to change uh, uh, update that with the name of the uh, internal monitor here but whatever just a little interesting side note maybe I think I end this video here I just wanted to tell you that in the next video we get started with finding a new text editor for BUD because we cannot use Sublime, we cannot pay $80 every three years, right? We can find something better and cheaper. Have a great day, bye!